Authorities in Orange County, Florida, arrested and charged a 19-year-old man in connection with a deadly shooting spree yesterday. At three different scenes, a total of five people were shot. Three of them died. One of those was a news reporter for Spectrum News in Orlando, identified as 24-year-old Dylan Lyons. A motive for the shootings has not been released. Tensions between Russia and the West are escalating a day before the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Biden called Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to pull out of a key nuclear arms treaty with the U.S. a big mistake. This comes as Putin is working to prop up support for his war among Russians and trying to enlist the Chinese. The massive winter storm causing chaos in a large part of the country has now turned deadly. There have been deaths reported in Michigan and Arkansas so far related to the weather. Roads and airports are still at a standstill with feet of snow expected in some areas. 135 million Americans in more than 40 states are on alert for high winds, snow and ice. A court hearing in Colorado Springs is underway to examine the charges in the deadly Club Q mass shooting. 22-year-old Anderson Aldridge faces more than 300 criminal counts in connection with the November attack, and prosecutors could file even more charges. The judge will decide if there is enough evidence to move forward with the current charges. The hearing will likely run through tomorrow. Independent vaccine advisors voted unanimously to recommend a two-dose vaccine for adults at risk of catching monkeypox, which is now known as mpox. While new cases are down to just about two a day, experts worry another outbreak could occur at any time. They want adults who would be at risk during an outbreak who haven't received the vaccine yet to get it. This year's flu season peaked early and hit children especially hard. As according to newly released data from the CDC, the agency says reported cases of influenza were highest in late November and early December. Flu-related pediatric deaths more than doubled over the previous year, the highest number since the beginning of the pandemic. Companies can no longer pay off former employees in exchange for their silence. The National Labor Relations Board said the previous rules violate employees' rights under the National Labor Relations Act. While the Labor Board's ruling this week could be appealed, the ruling is effective immediately. How high will interest rates go? Newly released minutes from the Federal Reserve's last meeting show nearly all members support slowing the pace of rate hikes. However, the central bank policymakers agree they must go higher until inflation is on a path back down to 2%. The Fed's new meeting is March 21st. After the release of the minutes, bond yields rose and the U.S. dollar advanced. The government can't do much about rising mortgage rates, but the Biden administration still wants to make home ownership more affordable. The federal government is trying to do that by lowering mortgage insurance premiums. It's expected to save home buyers about $800 on financing costs this year for FHA loans. And that's today's nine with nine. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.